Hey, it's Random Code here, and today we're going to start a new series on some basic AIs. And I will go through some basic examples of how we can implement AI, and we're going to be looking at the vacuum world problem, which is a very well known and very often used problem regarding some basic AIs. And in this video, I'll be discussing the basic AI, which is a table driven agent. The definition of an agent is an intelligent agent is anything which perceives its environment and takes actions autonomously in order to achieve goals. So in this case, we take some input and we do something and we'd like to end up at our goal. And the vacuum world problem the situation which is showcased here. So we have two squares, an A area and a B area, and they can both be either clean or dirty. In this case, they're both dirty. And we then have our AI, our table driven agent, which at this point is at A. We can then see A is dirty. We then like to clean it. So we clean A. A is now clean. We then move on to B. So we move right to B. We then add B, which is dirty. We then clean B. And we then add a clean B position. We would then move back to A, check A is clean. Then in this case, we just move back and forward until, until some of them were dirty. And we then clean them and just keep moving. And this situation can actually be implemented in quite a few ways, but in this video, we're going, to, we're going to be discussing a table driven agent, which is one of the more simple and kind of stupidest way of saying it, but not a very optimal way of implementing an AI. Here we have an implementation of our table driven agent in Python. We first just have a simple variables defined of A and B. We then have a list of percepts, which is all the, which is just a list of everything that's ha happened until now. So if we had our example from before, our agent would remember that we started at A, we then cleaned A. So now inside up you have A dirty, A clean, and now B dirty, B clean. So it's a list of everything, of all the inputs the AI or the agent was given. And then our table driven agent simply uses a table, which we have simply just make a lookup and then checks if I am at a position where I was previously doing a dirty, a clean, I should then do right, move until B. If I am then at a position where A was dirty, A was then clean, and now B is dirty, I should then clean. And here you might very quickly realize that the main problem with the table driven agent is that we need to define a table with all the possible situations our AI can experience. So quite quickly, there's a lot of work creating this table and making sure every, every situation is set up, which is not optimal. But it's still AI because we are not telling it what to do. It's using some lookup where it actually by itself is able to realize because of this situation, I need to do this. So we have our lookup where we find an action based on this table, which is just a map of inputs of our percepts and our action. We then look in our table, find base of, our, of this list of percepts. We would like to do this. And we then return this action. We then inside our table driven agent, take a new percept. So if this was truly implemented in some kind of real vacuum cleaner, it would be some kind of sensor, maybe censoring that a was either clean or dirty. We would then add this new perception of the world to our list of percepts. And do the lookup, what do we do now based on our previous percepts? And in this case, we then return an action just to showcase or print to the screen what we're actually doing. And I'll then give an example here where we say that we have this situation of this vacuum world where we start with telling our vacuum that A is dirty, then it does something. And then because it cleans, we now tell it that it's clean, A is clean, where if it was like real implemented, it would scan and see that A would be clean now. We then move on to B, and we would then like to tell that B is dirty, if that's the case, like in this example. And it should then return that B is clean. So let's actually just try running this where we have these inputs. First, A is dirty. Then we expect it to clean. Then we tell it A is clean. Then we expect it to move right. Then B is dirty. 
and we expect it to clean again. And this is of course based off our table inputs. So if we did, did it a bit different, it wouldn't work. But if we run this, we see that we get the input that first, our list of perceptors that A is dirty, we then clean. So like in this case, A is dirty, we then clean. Now we have the percept list of A was first dirty, then A is clean. We then go right. Because we have this situation, this specific situation, we then go right because that's defined in our table. When we have A dirty, A clean, go right, end up at B. We then tell it now that we're at B and this place is dirty. Again, we would have some kind of scanner. It knows we're at B now and B is dirty. So we would like to clean, but again, it only works because we have defined inside our table that in this specific situation where A is dirty, A is clean, and then B is dirty, Clean again. So if we just change something, for example, let's say we wanted to start at B, and then B is dirty, and then B would be clean, and then we would like to move it to A, so we'd have A which is dirty. And we then run it again. We now first get that B is dirty. And we know the situation because it's defined in our table. B is dirty. We then clean. But we then have the situation where B is first dirty and then B was clean, the situation is not defined in our table. So we get a situation none because our AI does not know what to do. Because it's not, it's, it's not really thinking on its own. It's just thinking based on our defined table. And because we didn't define our table like well enough, we didn't define all the situations. It does not know what to do. And then again, the next situation, it now knows that first B was dirty, then B was clean, and now A is dirty. Again, none, because we do not know what to do. So, this is a simple AI, a simple agent, intelligent agent, where we're able to give it some instructions, and then based on software setup, it knows what to do. But, table driven agents are not very smart, so they only know what to do, as long as we have very, very clearly defined what it should do in a specific situation. So. I hope you have a better understanding of AI and a table driven agent and understand the vacuum world problem. Also, maybe get a better understanding that AI is not, at least not all of it, is not just magic. It is based on some very clear instructions and some very clear goals. But if you enjoyed this quick demonstration and introduction to AI and table driven agents, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.